Throughout the ages, compassionate, enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele and video conferences. On July 2, 2011, during a video conference with Supreme Master Television staff, Supreme Master Ching Hai explained the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle and revealed unprecedented information never known before in human history. We now invite you to listen to Spiritual Blessing Portals and the Gates to Heaven and Hell, a video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Hi, wow. Master. Look at that. Look at that beautiful girl. Handsome guy. MC, <laughs> are you crying? A little bit. <laughs> oh, why is that? Happy. Happy, okay. Wow, I'm glad to see some emotion from guys. That's <laughs> rare. It's precious tears. <laughs> I heard that men don't have tears gland. That, that comes out easily, so it must be real deep, huh? Yes, Master. It I is. never thought you have emotion. I thought you were tough guys. <laughs> no, not at all. Tough guy. <laughs> okay. Americans don't easily show their emotion, do they? <laughs> You're special. And you look better every day. You look like you, a president or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. You truly do, huh? Doesn't he? Yes. yes? You, you could, like, represent Americans, right? Yeah. yeah. I bet if you run for president, I'll vote for you. <laughs> and your wife will, and your mother will. At least you have three votes. <laughs> <laughs> the important ones. Yeah, yeah. All the girls love you, like your mother, your wife, and me. <laughs> you look better every day. Doesn't he look better every day? Don't even yes, make up. You look good. You look healthy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what are you guys eating there? <laughs> I mean, for lunch, dinner, raw, fruit, tofu, bake? Everything. Everything? Cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. It's nice to see you. All right, then. Uh, so what do we do today, guys? It's nice to see you now and then. Warm up the relationship, no? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beloved Master, it is so wonderful to see you again, and we are so honored that you are sharing your precious and valuable time with us. You yeah. look beautiful as always, Master. Oh, thank you. Do I look beautiful there? Yes, yes Master. Okay, good. Maybe good, good technician, good cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> well, these men, they are genius, you know. They know all about computer stuff. If left to me alone, you will hear all in my voice, you know, and pre-record it and send it, you know, like usual. <laughs> but I did always try, even if we didn't have equipment, didn't I? Yeah? Yes, yes master. master. It's just nicer to see each other while talking, eh? Yes, yes master. master. Yeah. Okay. Express your emotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Master, our planet and her inhabitants are so infinitely fortunate to be graced with your presence and to bring about everlasting peace and share your incomparable and unconditional love. My God, you're talking about whom? You, Master! Somebody there? No? <laughs> you too, you do the same. Well, thank thank you, you very much, yes, all of us. You know, when I... Oh, I heard you like that, and I heard some of the artists, you know, Americans or yes. Vietnamese or Chinese or Mexican or Italian, you know, Spanish, whoever. They was just talking so sweetly, like what you do just now. 
I was kind of embarrassed a little bit, you know, like, <laughs> whom are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy to make you guys happy, you know, and do something like a world citizen. Yes. Yeah. Nice to see. Anyway. Mm. Our forever deep gratitude, Master, for all you have done and continue to do to save the earth and uplift our souls. Yeah. Today we are looking forward to hearing more of your divine wisdom and insights as we ask questions about the Bermuda Triangle and many other topics. Wow. <laughs> I'm already scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do what I can, and I'm really all for it. It's just sometimes we can't or sometimes heavenly permission is not there, you know, or uh, sometimes if I do something, it uh, gets worse in some other places, so I just have to do the best, yes, yes the master. best I know how, yes. I would have done more if I'm allowed, you know, like the law of karma, we have to do give and take, you know. Mm. We, know. we are behind the enemy's line, <laughs> we're not at home, yeah? Okay. Yes. Oh, well, okay, go ahead. With your question. If I know, I answer. If I don't know, I will ask the technicians here. That's it. <laughs> one cameraman and one is sitting there with a computer. <laughs> a computer knows everything nowadays, so maybe we find some answer there, eh? <laughs> Uh, most beloved Master, we heard so many stories about the area called the Bermuda Triangle, where planes yeah. and ships are said to mysteriously vanish. Yeah, me too. I so would you please reveal to us the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle, what is really happening there, and why do planes and ships sink there? Why? Mm. Yes, whenever a plane or ship sinks, they always report like SOS, you know, mayday, mayday, but nobody can even help them. Because they're just sinking fast and just disappear, yes. It is because it is a portal, a portal to lower world, yes. Our world is already low, I'm sorry to say, but there are even lower world than ours. We are more concentration of hatred and sorrow, suffering, and, and you know, fighty spirits and bickering and... Uh, torturing, you know, mentally, physically, yes. Uh, and these are lower world, yes. And Bermuda Triangles is one of the portals to this lower world. And the spirits of the same level are sucked into it, and nothing anyone can do about it. Wow. And they will live there until their bad karma are paid off. How long? depends on how much suffering they have caused to others while they are living in this world, you know, or in the physical world, this physical world. People who are more into fighting, torturing, warlike criminals will go there either while passing by or after death. No angels there, no protection there, no moral standard. It's jungle law. Jungle law. Scary atmosphere, frightening, situation at all time. The beings there live in constant sorrow and fear of many kinds. They can't even remember to pray because they're so soaked in this kind of fear and bad energy that they cannot even think. They just, every day just running and trying to protect themselves as much as they can, you know. Uh, karma do not always arrive in one lifetime, you see? It continues so many lives. So sometimes some people look like they are not doing anything bad, but they are also being drawn into this kind of uh, trouble place because they are relieving, relieving fears and suffering that they have caused to others previously in this life or the other last lives. And it uh, multiplies intensity until their conscience is cleared of all guilt and pain. You know, the equivalent but multiple pain that have crossed to others. Then they will be allowed another chance elsewhere to start anew, be it here on this planet or other planets. Okay? Yeah. Uh, thank you. All right. Master. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Master, the Bermuda Triangle is sometimes called the Devil's Triangle. Would you say that it's truly so? Does this place belong to Maya? 
If so, how come, Master? Um, it is aptly named so, yes. And it belongs to the negative force, the Maya force, of course, yes. Uh, just like jails on our world, you know, for criminals. Yeah. It's a very sad thing, see, it's just very sad, yes. Um, Master, how did the Bermuda Triangle come to exist? Was it always like that? Yes, it has been created because the king of the negative force knew that there will be fallen spirits due to the makeup of this world. It's arranged like that so that the vicious cycle would never end as there are traps, temptations, you know, abound in this physical realm, luring the minds to err, to commit sins, and then the souls who inhabit the bodies which is responsible for those criminal-like actions will we have to suffer in this kind of world, lowly, frightening, oppressive, dark and sorrowful at all times. Oh, thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Master, a scientist recently discovered that beneath this area, the Bermuda Triangle, there's a mm. huge amount of methane, which might explain why some ships become unstable and hence disappear or sink. Yeah. Yeah. Master, would you confirm this theory? Uh, is it the only reason for the Bermuda Triangle's mystery? And it's not all. It's not, it's not the main reason. But because of the karmic consequences that methane is there, okay? Even if methane is the cause for the ship to sink or the plane to drown, it is because of the karmic uh, background of it, yes? Uh, it's the karmic consequences that lead to this tragedy. And, of course, that's why methane are so dense there as well. Yeah, the real cause, however, behind all this is karmic payback. Mm -hmm. I understand. The beings with low level quality, who's bent to harm, hurt, or cause sorrow or suffering to others while they are still in the physical realm, be it to humans or animals, they will be drawn there sooner or later, alive or after death while passing by or after they leave this physical realm. Mm, understand, Master. Yeah. What spiritual level is the Bermuda Triangle, Master? What do you think? <laughs> About as low as you can go? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is the lowest astral level. Astral level has many, 120 levels, okay? And the highest one is heaven-like, of course, ne? From the high middle to highest is uh, like heaven-like. And this area, you know, that's uh, represented by Bermuda Triangle is the lowest astral level. And the near hell level, or the lowest human level, lowest beast level, yeah, there are different categories there as well, yes. Those that love fighting, warring, torturing, and cause suffering and pain of all kinds, those with greed, uh, possessiveness, fierce nature, uh, those who oppress others to benefit or satisfy themselves, those who rob and kill, murder of humans and animals, all will go there in time. They just don't know it yet. This is a really tragedy. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Hi, Master. Hi, Chocoli. <laughs> Master, the ships and planes that go missing in the Bermuda Triangle, are they only a selected group of people who are meant to go through this negative realm? Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. It's, it's a collective energy, collective karma of certain group of people. Yeah, just like certain people will be born in certain countries, yes, and certain people will be born in certain village or will be born into a family together, yes. So it is a kind of collective chain of karma. But if there is any virtuous being who happened to be there at that time, yes, then they will not be drawn down to the lower world, but will be accompanied by angels to heaven or to earth again. Only the people 
who deserve to be in the lower world will be going there. Thank you, Master. Um, Master, will only the ships and planes carrying people who must go to hell disappear in the triangle? And will those vessels with people not destined for hell pass through the triangle unharmed? Are there perhaps guardians uh, at these portals to prevent accidental travels? Mm -hmm. No, no, no guardian. Uh, because virtuous people or good beings will not be in this area or will not be seriously affected. Yes. Virtuous people have protecting angels anyway, yes? Even if they die there, they will not enter this world. They will not be sucked into this portal, but will be led to different ways, to higher dimensions or back to human reincarnation elsewhere or on this planet. Wow. These people who are drawn there, who pass through there, is not to hell yet. Hell is another place. These are lower world. Okay? Well, near hell. I uh, understand, Master. Yeah, okay, love. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, Chocoli. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're very pretty. Yeah. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hello, Master. Hello. Master, you've mentioned that black holes exist to recycle the bad energy. Do these negative portals also exist to absorb the bad energy of the planet? Is it true that there are gates to hell? Are these hell portals like the black holes of our world? Yes, they are. Yes, they are hell portals to take spirits that violate the uh, moral principle of the human world or heaven's standard. Okay? Yes, Master. Where are these hell portals? If you want to visit them, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you want to visit them? Yeah. Um, no, Master. <laughs> I'm checking with the list that I have. Okay, they are portal to hell. To hell. How many, huh? Twenty of them. In the Gobi Desert, we have four. In Australia, we have two. New Zealand, two. Afghanistan, five. Pakistan, three. Iraq, two. North Korea, two. If you want to visit, you know where to go, hey? Check out hell. <laughs> If you're bored with the world and heaven, <laughs> go check out. But I have told you already, <laughs> they are not there to absorb the energy, they are there to, to lead the people that violate moral principle of humans and heaven worlds, yeah? Mm. Yes, Master. Okay, thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master... My next question, uh, were there ancient civilizations that existed and sank below the sea in Bermuda Triangle? Um, we hear theories that maybe it is Atlantis beneath the sea. I don't think it is uh, Atlantis. There are some, not just one. And I don't see any names written, so I don't think it's Atlantis. Okay. Not useful anyway if you want to know about the past. Right. We don't also have proof anymore. It's too long. It's better we focus here and now to improve our standard so yes, we yes. can keep our civilization longer and better at all time. understand. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay, thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi, Hungarian. It's so good to see you, Master. <laughs> Hey, good to see you. Your hair is still short? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> It's growing, though. <laughs> It's growing, I can see. Yeah. Anyway, they're pretty, yes? Thank you, Master. Uh, natural Master. curl, you know. It's like a uh, fairy, yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Um, Master, my question is, um, can humans create these hell portals by their own actions, like killing or harming animals and each other? And... Do the portals get uh, larger by more accumulation of negative energy? No, no. Uh, they have been created already as is, yes? Uh, there's many categories and it's enough for the whole world already. No more has been created. Not necessary. Okay? I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, my next question is, 
Can a Bermuda Triangle type place uh, be created in a short period of time, such as by the setting up of a factory farm, or does it take a long time to create, such as perhaps only where a war took place? No, no. There's no new Bermuda type. But there are roads, you know, not new, not new. There are roads that connect everywhere to lower world. We don't need any new ones. Thank God mm -hmm. that they are big enough for the whole world, I told you already. Yeah. That sounds scary. Either hell or lower level, there enough, enough for the whole world and more. <laughs> Many world can fit in there because it's not physical, you see? Right. Yes, mm -hmm. it's not physical. The soul suffer, the spirit suffer, yes. But it feels as if the physical body suffer because over there, that is the physical body. You see what I mean? The astral body feels as if the physical body. And it's even worse, even worse because you cannot hide anywhere. You're transparent and everybody can see you everywhere. There's no place to hide like in physical world. Hmm? It's worse over there. Okay, love. Master, uh, the people who get lost in the Bermuda Triangle, where do they end up? Is it a physical place on Earth or is it another parallel universe? It is not a physical world, just lowest astral level, where beings live in constant anxiety, sorrow, pain, and fear. And they know no peace because in this world are the last words. Uh, when they were in a physical life, they created fear, chaos, and suffering, and pain, and destroyed the peace in others' lives. That's why they are here to repay their misdeeds. They are in that lower world to experience what they have caused others to experience in other life or in this lifetime before they die. Yeah? I see. Master, how often does it happen that people go there? Does it happen all the time? Mm -mm. It's not something rare, is it? Or No, it's not often, but people do go there after they die. I see. There's no see. escape. Some go while living already. Wow. You know? Some are taken, you know, from the planes or ships. Wow, sounds scary, Master. Mm. Thank you for your answers. Hello, Master. Hello, Choco. Hi. Thank you, Master, for all your help. It's okay. <laughs> Master, does the phenomenon like the Bermuda Triangle happen anywhere else on Earth or only there? Besides the Bermuda Triangle, are there any other places similar in negativity? Yes, there are. There are uh, similar places places, but different intensity, yeah, according to the degree of suffering uh, being caused to others who are physically alive. Uh, if you want to know where, I check the list. Thank you, Master. There are many portal, not that many, thanks God, but there are 15 of them in our world. In 15 categories, you see, because some people cause more suffering, some people cause less suffering, yes, and the suffering or pain in different degree. Therefore, there are different categories of lower world, yeah, for people to go and repay their, their bad karma. In Australia, we have two. Oh, my God. Just now, Australia, we also have hell. Yes, Master. Two portals to hell. And now in Australia, we have two portals to lower world as well. And in Afghanistan, we have three. Wow. In Pakistan, we also have five portals wow. to the uh, lower world. In New Zealand, we have one. In Bermuda Triangle, we have four. Oh. That explains it, why so much war there and, you know, in those countries. Or, you know, the more portals, the more why. Yes, Master. More portal to hells and more portal to, to lower world. Yes, so there's a little different atmosphere, there, different destiny, there, a different kind of life there. Eh? Mm. Yes, Master. <sighs> Bermuda Triangle have four altogether there. That probably explains why so many planes and ships sank there. Eh? Mm. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. That's uh, Master, my next question. Is, yeah. If someone gets pulled into the Bermuda Triangle or some similar path to hell or heaven, how do they get back out into their previous world? If they already in the lower world or hell, from there they must have some worldly merit, you know, some really good merit to be pardoned and given second chance to redeem their sins. But mostly they stay there once entered. If they are in heaven, <laughs> on the contrary, then they do not want to get back down to earth. After knowing heavens, it's difficult to return here to this world and live happily. Nothing here we will want to come back to. You remember the stories about people who have near-death experiences? Yes, yes, yes. yes. They cry off and on for many weeks or months after knowing heaven and having to come back here because karmic affinity in their life is still unsolved. So the souls will be advised or pushed back into this world again, back to earth, to continue physical life until their karmic ties has been loosened. That's it. That's why. Thank you, Master. Yes. You see, sometimes, even us, you know, the Kuan Yin practitioner, when you sit in meditation and you see heaven, vision, and all that, and you came back to the physical world, you feel <laughs> kind of sad, huh? Yes. Yes, Master. Okay. Okay. Any more questions, Choko? Yes. Uh, Master, has anyone ever been able to cross through the hell portal and come back alive? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> if their time is not up, they don't even know that they have crossed the portal to hell. Or if they do know or enter the hell world and came back, as I have told you before, because they have some special merit that deserve a second chance, yes? Yes, Master. And those people who mostly enter like that in spirit, okay? So like somebody who's sick and just laying there in a sick bed, yeah, but still breathing faintly, yes. And then their spirit probably went into the hellish or lower world, yes. And then after being judged and screened, and the, the church of the lower world or the hell felt that deserve a better chance, if he promised to come back and do good, then they let him come back. And so they leave again, yes. But rarely anyone will make it public, yes. Because they think nobody will believe them. Yes. Some have written books. In Vietnam, we have some books about these accounts of people who went to hell, uh, witnessed suffering and trouble and problem and fear and sorrow and pain there. And they almost have to be punished as well, but then they were given second chance. And then they came back to write the books of their accounts to warn others to better their conducts while alive and having chance to do so. But hardly anyone listen. People who have good store of virtues could cross it without harm. Maybe just feel mm, uncomfortable somehow. Yes. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. Hi. Yes, Master, you have told us before that there are only a few people who can see the spiritual blessing lines or SBLs, Master included. Um, yeah. Can the same persons who can see the SBLs see those Bermuda Triangle-like places, or could we also see or feel them in order to avoid them? Mm, no, not necessarily. Uh, the seers of SBL can see also negative portals. Uh, anyone who pass by may feel airy, you know, airy or uneasy or uncomfortable or sickened while nearby or passing through such areas as they are invisible, but it's difficult to tell. Maybe if you have good perception, our angels will warn you to avoid certain place. Right, Master. Uh, because if we go near such a negative place, places or portals, or connecting paths, you know, connecting roads, we will uh, have to ask for protection at all time. If you feel that it's a negative place, just pray, meditate. Yeah, okay? Yes, Master. Yeah, all right. Master, so if we live in or near such a 
place or we travel through such a place, how can we alleviate the effects or should we just move? Most people who are good, yeah, will never have the chance, <laughs> the chance to go near such places or live near there. But if you feel uncomfortable somewhere, really extremely, so that you can even feel it, or feel sick all the time, or somehow have bad luck all the time, then you maybe you're near, okay? Ah, oh, I see. Uh, then you can move or ask for protection at all time. Yeah, meditate more. Yeah, or move. Yeah. Uh. Yes, Master. Okay. So, how do we protect ourselves from the bad energy, Master? I have told you at the time of initiation how to protect yourself. Okay. Yes, Master. You have the mean to. Okay. Others uh, who are not Kuan Yin practitioner can maybe pray to heaven. Uh, virtuous people have angels' protection anyway. Just pray for for safety. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Master. Okay, you're welcome. Master, are you also working on those areas like fixing those places? No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not fixing these places because they are allowed to exist. So long as humans not willing to live according to heaven's way, there will always be hellish path awaiting them. So humans have to fix them, not I. Okay? Yes, Master. I can't. If I fix those places, it's as if I condone, you know, human cruelty and uh, bad uh, moral standard. You got it? Yes, Master. Like I would condone those uh, bad um, criminal-like actions, you know, doing harms to others, and then have no punishment, nothing, no nothing to awaken them, and nowhere to go to clean these uh, bad elements from their system, from their beings. Understand? Yes, understand. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Master. Right. Welcome. Thank you. A uh, Master. Hi. <laughs> Master, can such places as the Bermuda Triangle be shut down, no longer be a negative area through spiritual practice or elevation of the earth by a great master? No, no. <laughs> Again, you know, <laughs> not always throw our responsibility on a master or some masters. They will not be shut down as long as human race do not elevate themselves to a nobler standard, okay? I understand. Just like jails will have to exist for bad criminals so that the societies will have peace, yes, and others will live in safety and comfort and security. Yes, Master. Right. Uh, Master, my next question. Are there any places on earth currently in danger of becoming like the Bermuda Triangle? No, those existing Bermuda like are enough for countless beings already, for the whole world or many worlds if no need any new ones. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, there are many temporary Bermudas in various corners of our world. You can see it on TV, you know, when you watch T V or read newspapers. We have wars, we have famines, we have oppression. Yeah, restriction of freedom, conflicts, yeah, injustice, etc., etc. Hmm? Yes, Master. Every day we see, no? Yes. yes. These are also Bermuda's kind. Understand. Mm. While alive, yeah? Yeah. People suffer while they're still living, yeah. <sighs> okay. Hi, Master. Hi. <laughs> um, the Dominican Republic is bordering the... Bermuda Triangle and has 40 SBLs. Does this high number of SBLs have any relation in protecting this area, Master? Yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, wow. But not all places are that lucky, huh? Mm. Perhaps the beings born in Dominican Republic are very highly moral. Yeah, or virtues inside from previous life and or now. Let's pray that they continue this way. Good for them. Yes, Master. Wow. 
Master, if places like the Bermuda Triangle are paths to hell, then what about paths to heaven on earth, Master? Do those exist? Are there heaven-like positive places on earth? Yeah, sure. There are. There are. Of course. Oh, wow, Master. Oh, would Master please tell us where they are? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Fortunately, we are all connected, you know, to the whole universe. So if there are connections to the lower world, then there are also connections to the higher world, yes, for the virtuous and good people, yes. And also the saints use those roads to travel back and forth from the spiritual world to the uh, physical world, either to reincarnate here or to come and go to help people who are needs, yeah. Wow. There are portals and roads to different dimensions, and we will be drawn to either this or that, you know, lower or higher, according to our merit. Oh, yes, Master. Yes. Just please tell us where they are, Master. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very big one, thanks God. Wow. A big list. <laughs> and a big list here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Luckily for us, the roads and the paths and the portals to heaven are much, much out, way in number, you know, <laughs> compared to hells and lower portals. Yes, that's the good news, hey? Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, I feel heaven is always more powerful than hell, uh, lower um, negative powers. I guess... Because humans are inherently good anyway, right? So there should never be hell. It's just the way of the king of the negative power creating this world to make people tempted to do bad things. And then from there, it's just going down. Now, I tell you where the heaven portal is, in case you want to visit. <laughs> <laughs> to pinpoint where exactly they are, I have much more trouble. I have to be there, and then I have to be allowed to be there, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And even allowed to tell you if I even found it. Yes, Master. Got it? But now I can just tell you generally the countries where they are housed, yeah? Okay. okay. Now we have, like in Europe, we have the most, yes. In Spain, they have 13 portals to heaven. Wow. 13, one, three. In Italy, we have four. In France, have two. Germany, three. United Kingdom, two. Finland, two. Holland, two. Austria, two. Uh, Slovenia, one. Poland, three. Denmark, two. Belgium, four. USA, two. Canada, four. Brazil, four. Mexico, four. India, nine. Wow. Uzbekistan, two. Sierra Leone, two. Zambia, three. Laos, two. Sri Lanka, three. Wow. Some country you never heard of the name, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where to find the map even. <laughs> South Pole, you know, the we call it what? The Antarctica? Yes, Master. Yeah, yeah have 300. Wow! Of course, they are undisturbed over there. <laughs> it's easier to build heavenly portal there than <laughs> in some disturbing areas of the cities, no? Yes. <laughs> okay, heaven must have known that the South Pole and North Pole are peaceful area. Okay, North Pole have even more. Guess how many? Tell me. I'll give you $100 if you guess. <laughs> Any of you? Use your wisdom. You have some, right? Tell me. What 500, 1,000. Ah, yeah, good. 500. Yeah. Who say 500? You? Somebody just say 500. Who? How many? Two. Okay, okay. Now give them 100 each. Wow. <laughs> Hey, you, you went lotto today, huh? Okay. So, Pacific Ocean have eight. 
Indian Ocean, three. Atlantic Ocean, six. Mediterranean Sea, three. Himalaya Mountain, twenty-one. Wow! These are the places and numbers that we have of portal to heavens in the, this world. Wow! Yes, because there are different category of heavens, different category of people who go different section of heavens or different kind of heavens. Therefore, we have nine hundred sixteen. Oh, more or less, maybe I didn't count it well. You count it, okay? Okay, <laughs> master. Wow! Wow, hey! <laughs> Make sure you stumble on one. <laughs> so, so many everywhere. So just go to South Pole and North Pole. It has more chance to stumble on one. Because yes, there are a lot of them there, huh? Yeah, or Himalaya, huh? <laughs> or Spain, for that reason. Mm. Okay, you happy? Yes, Master. Yeah. Okay. Master, are there blessings from heaven gates? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. There are blessings. Uh, let me check on my list. If I have any here, where are the list of heaven stuff? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there are about uh, eight thousand percent spiritual blessing from any portal gates. Yeah, more or less, you know. Uh, that's a minimum percent, eight thousand percent minimum for a virtuous meditator. Suppose you sit under the heaven gate, okay, and you're very diligent and virtuous, then you will have eight thousand percent blessing. Some heaven gate has more blessing because it's more connected to a higher heaven. Understand? And the heaven roads connect to heaven portals, also 5,000% minimum, if you are in it. If you happen to sit in that road, in the middle of it, <laughs> and you're virtuous and sincere, you will gain 5,000% minimum. Okay? Wow. If you're not virtuous, and if just uh, anybody who don't practice anything, then it's zero. Must be exceptionally virtuous and saintly and sincere. Yes, heaven portal is hard to find, and only one and a half square meters each. Wow! So if you are too fat, maybe you won't get it. <laughs> heaven road is about one meter wide. Uh, the road to hell is similar. Uh, portal to hell is a little bit bigger. Portal to lower worlds is a bit wider. A road to hell similar. Okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hello, Master. Hello. Master, those portals to heaven, which heaven do they lead to? You know, like uh, lower is to the second level? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or high astral level? Yes. And the higher is to the fifth. Yeah, wow. but it's connecting, you know, there's connecting uh, road as well. And there are also special connecting flight to higher world above the fifth as well for wow. a special few, wow. special few only, yeah? Mm -hmm. I see, Master. Thank you, Master. If they came from above the fifth, then they go to above the fifth again, but they take different connection after that, okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank All you, right. Master. And yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Master, in the near future... Are we going to be using these portals to heaven? Sure, sure. When you die, you will. Oh. <laughs> Is it near enough for you? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yes. But the different roads and different portals lead to different heavens, depends on individual's merit. Yes. And there are connection portals and connection paths in different planes from lower to higher. Yeah, okay. That's it, huh? Yeah. Yes, thank you, Master. Welcome. But how, yes. how can we be able to recognize a doorway to heaven? Oh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> heaven portals and connecting roads are tightly protected. Mm, yes? I see. I see. Not even wind can go through there. Wow. Not even air can seep through. Not mm -hmm. detectable to ordinary human beings or even saints. But, uh, you know, every time you meditate and you're in samadhi, you sometimes go through these portals to go to different dimensions, to have a look at visions and heaven and all that. 
That is when you're passing through portals of heaven or portal uh, or road to, to connect to heaven. Yes? Understand. Uh, otherwise, even if someone is in it, it feels nothing. Maybe a little peaceful, but <laughs> too busy the mind to even detect it. Yes? If a person die there, die right at the portal of heaven or in the middle of the road connecting to the portal to heaven, he will not go to heaven if he's not worthy. Okay? Okay, Master. Yes, Master. According yes. to heaven standard. Yeah. I see. All right. And this heaven, Master, is it the astral level? Different portal for different level. Hmm? Understand. Okay. I told you already. Yes. Do we have any here in the U.S.? I told you already, no? I think yes. two, yes. Yes, Master. Two. Okay. It's two, huh? Yes. <laughs> is a Kuan Yin practitioner able to enter the heaven portal while they are still alive? Yeah, you do that during meditation. And anyway, virtuous and sincere Kuan Yin practitioners, I mean, practicing the heavenly inner light and sound, you will go speedy, VIP highway with Master when you die. Okay. Wow. Yes, there will be no immigration screening, checking passport, nothing. You just go through like those ambassadors, yes? They go through, yes. yeah, or embassy uh, personnel, they go through airport with no problem, okay? Special, different VIP way, yes. Thank you, Master. All right, you're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Master, what purpose do the heaven help porters serve? for the beings of this world? Uh, because it is a conditional world. It's not heaven, eh? So there is punishment for bad behavior, uh, bad deeds or sins, and rewards for good uh, actions and virtuous actions. So in order to screen out good and bad qualities, to categorize and select accordingly, and to send beings uh, to different respective planets or spiritual dimensions after process to live there where they deserve, okay? Either hell or heaven or lower world. Yes. The souls from all over the world that leave the physical um, body have to travel to those heaven or hell portals in order to move on? Yes, they do. Yes. There will be different connection after the portal from this planet depends on each person's merit or each being's merit and spiritual levels. Except Kuan Yin practitioners who practice in a heavenly light and sound and the diligent and virtuous, then master and angels will go and intercept them, you know, and uh, take them direct to heaven, different heaven where it depends on their level of practice. Yes. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. Master, are there criteria for an individual to encounter or see these gates of heaven or hell? How does heaven determine if a person is meritorious enough to be granted this permission, much like being able to see an SBL? Mm. Oh, well, heavens do know. <laughs> heaven knows. If heaven doesn't know, who knows? So, because they take notes, you know? Each being on this planet or any other planets are being watched, helped, and warned accordingly. But many rarely listen or too coarse, the mind too coarse, or too busy to feel any, or to intercept any, or to take it for real. Or they just ignore their intuition or disregard it as no existence, as superstitious, the people who are supposed to know SBL or CSBL, they are special, okay? Yes, Master. They are born for special purposes, and they know SBL through gracious assistance of the goddess who oversee SBL existence, okay? Yes, Master. Without this goddess, nobody allowed to even know about it. And Master, can these gates be sealed or reopened, like how an SPL can be extended or degraded? Uh, 
Yes, they be sealed or disappear when human. You mean heaven? Yeah. What gates be sealed? Uh, the heaven or hell portals. Okay, heaven will not be sealed, huh? Unless we empty this world, <laughs> and the hell or the portals to hell or lower world, as I mentioned already, will not be sealed or disappear until all human race elevated or screen out the bad elements and only the good uh, virtuous beings exist on this planet. Then hell and lower world portals will be sealed or their world completely disappear. Because uh, these are not extended or degraded like SBL, you see? It's different. These are more fixed. I told you already, only if the world improves more meritorious, then they will be gone, okay, or moved elsewhere, rebuilt somewhere else, take up all the, <laughs> you know, nice, infrastructure nice. and build somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, Master, are there guards or gods that are guarding these portals just like the SBL gods? Mm, yeah, heaven gates, yes. The heaven portals are guarded tightly. But the portals to hell and a low world is a free entry. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome anytime. <laughs> They're just too happy to get you. Yeah? No ticket, no, no booking in advance are necessary. But the virtuous people, or animals, any beings will not be born there, near hell, portal, or if rarely, then to help elevate those places, or to help those who can still be helped, yeah? Yes, Master. But they are virtuous people. Uh, like in the Buddhism, we have the earth store bodhisattva, who was born in hell and stay there, because he wants to help people in hell, Okay. However, uh, they probably will be influenced by the atmosphere generated. I mean, not the earth store bodhisattva, but the people like us, like human, if you're alive and you're born somehow near those areas, even those you are virtuous and all that, you probably be influenced more or less, depends on how strong you are, yeah, yes, spiritually. Yes. Yes, by the atmosphere that generated by the lowly people who live there, or hellish people, you know, the people who are waiting to go to hell, or living things there, also feel sad, you know, we feel anxious, maybe sometimes feel oppressed, or in danger of some kind, etc. Yeah. Yes, Master. As always, there's a prize for bringing goodness into this physical world. So if you vow to be born near hell or hell portal or low Bermuda gate, then you probably pay some price. You know? Yes, Master. If you're a tough guy, then maybe you're okay. Tough guy, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. If there are stargates and portals to hell and heaven existing on Earth, are there other portals as well, like time portals or portals where you can get from one place on Earth to another? Yes, yes, there are such portals, but maybe <laughs> we have another conference about those, okay? Okay, too much friend, today, okay. too much hell already today. <laughs> 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 and a lot of heaven, thanks God. But as to get from one place on this earth, yeah, to another place on this earth, there are portals, yes, like we call sea portals, air portal, airports. <laughs> <laughs> I would advise you to use car or train or planes or ship, okay? Yes, to get to those portals, yes, and go use the ship or the plane. <laughs> right. <laughs> My God, portals, huh? <laughs> what do you want to do with the portals? that go from one place to another. Huh? Don't you know there's a thing as train and planes and shit? <laughs> <laughs> or you used to walk, huh? You right. walk from right. Spain to Italy, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, what next? Uh, do these gates provide spiritual reductions or spiritual blessings when someone is in or near the Master? In the case of spiritual reductions, uh, no, 
Blessing, yes. A reduction, no. You know, depends on virtues. Yeah, mm. reduction uh, is not really. But if you're near the the hell gates or lower gates, maybe you're more agitated, and maybe you are prone to do something uh, regrettable. You see. Uh, but if you are morally fit and virtuous, then maybe not. Okay. Yes, master. If in the case of spiritual reductions, Master, does that negativity hang around that person's being if they get out? Does that negativity represent karma? Mm, karma also may be included or rub off on you, yeah, but not always. Yes, it can be shaken off after you get out. But if you live near there too long, you might be influenced. Yes. I see. Okay? Yes, yes, Master. Yes. Yeah, what else? Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Master. Master, we learned that this world contains both the negative and the positive. Hence, if we have the SBL that blesses the Earth's habitants, do we also have the opposite of the SBL? Could you please comment on that, Master? Yes. Uh, you know, these are the roads that connect into lower worlds and hells. You see? Yes, Master. Or the portals to the lower world or portals to hell. They have negative effects if you live too near or on top of it or uh, in the middle of it. If you are near these roads or portals or near hell, you feel sickened, yes? Uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, not too well, yeah? Often, uh, you feel confused, uh, often bad temper, violent tendency or the negative quality awakened. Same if you are near the hellish or lower level humans or beasts, you will also feel their influence and your character become maybe worse. Yes? A person of low quality or hell quality will be drawn near these places, in, into those places, uh, a time of disease, or will be led to these portals while still alive, when passing by. Yes, Master. Thank yeah, you. of course. But after they pass, then they will, you know, leave their body. Yes. Yes, Master. Master, can you please share with us how many SBLs there are in the world right now? Hmm, how many? Uh, let me check. Thank you, Master. SBL, huh? Yes, Master. I don't have any SBL somewhere, <laughs> no. <laughs> SBL, spiritual blessing lines. Yeah, we have plenty. Wow. Plenty. But not enough yet. We have about 1,326 or something like that. Wow. Okay. No. Thank you, yes. Master. <laughs> but only 800 of them are well and strong. The rest are so-so or not complete or some shorter, some weaker. Yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. Oh, but they are getting in there. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Master. You're welcome. Thanks to all the help from heaven and all the gracious human beings or saintly people. Hmm? And thanks to you, Master. <sighs> well, I don't know. <laughs> we all work together, okay? Yes, Master. All right, tell me. Aside from the SBL site you've already graciously told us about in previous conferences, are there SBLs in other countries? Are you able to share with us, Master? Yeah, I will tell the list. Thank you, Master. I will read the update list for you. But if I read it, you can see that some are decreasing in some country, oh. according to this, and some increase. Wow. Increase are less than decrease. <laughs> But we have it elsewhere we have, where we have not mentioned before. Okay. Okay. This is sad. Very sad, Master. But overall, we have some strengthen and lengthen to completion. So there is hope, eh? Yes, Master. Okay, I read... Uh, wow, it's a lot. Do we read it now? Yes, Master. Please. Okay. We go according to my list, okay? Yes. Because I don't just go to ABC, yeah? Some are ABC, but some I check out later on. It don't go by alphabetic order. Okay, have patience. Oh, luck. You used to have 10, remember? Yes, last Master. Time? 
now zero. <gasps> I don't want to know why. Oh my God. Maybe they were sinning before and shortened already before, and then they're not in a virtue, so they disappear completely now. Zero. That's so sad. Australia used to have six, remember? Yes, Master. Now only four. Austria uh, remained the same, four. Canada has two. Yeah. I didn't tell you how many. Now I have two and remain two. Cameroon used to have 40 and now only 30. Oh. Cancun, uh, it's okay. Still three. <laughs> It's all in our place. Wow. China used to have 40, remember? Yes, Master. Now have only five. Oh. Well, we have to earn, you know? We have to earn merit in order to keep them. Colombia used to have 10, now have five. Costa Rica had one, now have three. Wow. Increase, yes. Dominican Republic used to have 40, now still remain 40. Yeah. Congratulations, Dominicans. Formosa used to have 12, now only 5. Don't ask me why. France had 4, and now still 4. Germany, 8, and now only have 5. Greece used to have 4, and now have only 3. Holland used to have six, now only four. Hungary used to have six, now only four. India used to have 30, remember? Yes, Master. And now only nine. I'm also surprised. Yeah, I'm How also come, surprised. Master? I don't want to know, baby. Even if I know, I don't want to tell you. Okay, Master. Besides, what's the use of telling anything? It's obvious, no? Yes. yes. 30 and reduced to 9. Ireland used to have 2, now still remain 2. Italy used to have 6, now only 3. Monaco had 3 and remain 3. North Korea used to have 3, now 0. <gasps> Old Tibet used to have 14, now also 14. Outer Mongolia used to have ten, now only eight. Spain have six, and now still six. Paraguay have twenty, now twenty-three. Wow. Mm, I'm glad also. Scotland four, and remains four. Slovenia used to have two, remain two. South Korea have five, now only two. Sweden used to have ten. Now only four. Switzerland used to have ten, now only five. Thailand have eight, now only five. United Kingdom had six, now only four. USA had five, now four. These are new, okay? Yes, Master. No need to compare now. Inner Mongolia, three. Japan, two. Uruguay, three. Uzbekistan, three. Brazil, one. Zambia, two. Zimbabwe, two. Sri Lanka, two. Uh, Chile, six. Belgium, ten. Wow. <laughs> Denmark, three. Finland, four. Norway, five. Poland, two. Macedonia, three. Philippines, two. Malaysia, three. Portugal, three. Togo, two. Czech Republic, two. Iran, three. Mexico, four. The Commonwealth, Dominica. Yes. Three. Yeah, different from Dominica Republic. Yes, yes, Master. Dominica uh, Commonwealth have three. Now, Mediterranean Sea have 20. Wow. Yeah, spread on that around Europe, huh? Adriatic Sea have six. Okay? Yes, Master. Mm. Pacific Ocean have 153. Wow. Atlantic Ocean have 155. Wow. 
Indian Ocean 152 and North Pole the Arctic have 200 wow. Antarctica 200 like. again these two area huh sure <laughs> we should move there master <laughs> yeah I move there tomorrow <laughs> but then we can never do the uh, conference again or do anything else we're too busy cover up with blankets and sleeping bags tons of them you know and yes. uh, Curling up in our igloos, yeah, we'll be curling up in there all day long, all night. <laughs> Don't dare to go out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, you happy now? Very happy, Master. But yes. sad for the country who lost so many SBL. Very sad. I know, Master. very sad. Me too, I'm very sad. But we have 800 now, in you know, whole and healthy. Yeah. Yes, Master. So it's something, huh? Mm. <laughs> yeah, any more question? Yes, Master. As Master lists more and more SBLs existing around the world, are these SBLs newly created or are they the same ones that previously existed but had disappeared and now are being revived by Master? Yes, uh, now we have 800 whole, you know, being revived and fixed and all. But we don't have new one created. <laughs> if we don't have any one disappear, we're already lucky not to talk about creating new one. The human race and beings on this planet don't have enough merit to create any new one just yet. But we have 800 whole and healthy, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. Nevertheless, we need minimum 1,500 complete SBL in order to help the world survive in a reasonable shape and minimum danger. 1,500, minimum. We are not secure yet, baby. I'm so sorry to say. Wow. Mm. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. You've given us this wonderful list of the SBLs that could be useful to our association members. Would you share with us if the list has been updated what I mean is, do we have other SBLs in our centers around the world or nearby our centers around the world? No, no. Same, same as that before. It's just the UK has a new place with two SBL. And Sihu Center, of course, has a different portal, yeah? Yes, Master. But it has been there before. Uh -huh. Just that I cannot tell you everything in one conference, otherwise we do nothing else but sit here and talk, okay? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> There's another thing, okay? And not just SBL, eh? Okay? Yes, Master. Just like today, you know about heaven portals and hell portals, but I can't just keep mentioning everything, okay? Yes, Master. A little bit at a time, even you can't even digest it all. If you know, him, if you know it all, you can't even digest it all. Yes, huh? Master. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Master, is there a heaven or hell gate nearby? No. Not near you, not near any centers. Okay. Thank you, Master. Yeah. Welcome. Happy? Yes. Hi, Master. Yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> you know, when I ask you if you're happy, you know, my dog's happy, came running here and scratching the door, and now I understand why. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Master, you mentioned in the lectures in Cancun, Mexico, yeah. how the SPLs there were powerful. Master, are there any SPL sites in the world as powerful as the one in Cancun, or perhaps even more powerful? Yes, yes, they are. They are as powerful or more powerful. Wow. But it's not useful to you, just for your curiosity, because you can't just go everywhere. Sometimes they are in a hotel, sometimes they are in the middle of the ocean, some of them in the middle of the... The mountain, I could not even get there myself. <laughs> not even with helicopter or, you wow. know, airplane or stuff. Uh, also, you know, if you want to know exactly, you have to be there personally to check and verify. Yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. 100%. Yeah, all right. And is there a point where all the SBLs converge? If so, where, Master? They just uh, parallel each other, you know? wrapping around the planet. Oh, okay. Wow. They don't converge, but they're crisscrossing each other sometimes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you, Master. 
Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Um, Massa, could you kindly clarify further about SBL lines? Are they straight lines or curved, and do they have short branches? Does it matter to you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you like them curved or you like them straight? I will tell them to, to do accordingly. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Why are you asking this? Tell me. I'm curious. Uh, just curiosity, Master. Yeah, I'm also curious why you are so curious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank as you, I Master. told you, yeah, as I told you, they curve with the earth shape, yeah, yes. to protect the earth, wow. huh? Yes, just like you hang in a basket of flower, you have strings or rope to yeah. hang them. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. And some branches out, you know, a short distance from the main lines. Oh wow. Okay. Thank you, Master. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Master. Choco, yes. Master, are there any tools or devices to detect divine energies? And can our wisdom eye sense or detect a divine blessing location? Yes, but it's almost impossible for most uh, ordinary spiritual practitioners to do this. There must be special permission from heaven in order for this area of knowledge to be unblocked for you. Understand this? Yes, Master. No tools, no devices uh, thus far to detect divine energies accurately. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Um, Master, can the SPLs and the gates directly increase or decrease our Q qualities, such as our noble quality, loving quality, or God quality, etc.? Uh, no, no. Mm. But if you your spiritual levels elevated, then of course your good quality will also be uh, increased eh? yes, or yes, yes. Uh, enhanced. But mostly they just help you to speed up your spiritual levels if you are worthy to receive the blessing from them. That is, if you're pure enough to let the blessing go through you. Understand? Yes, Master. Uh, intercept within you, within your spiritual beings, yes. Because the soul we know many things, but we have obstruction from astral bodies, causal body, you know, <laughs> and Brahman bodies, yes, and the fourth level bodies. They are still okay, but if the mind is not pure, then there will be obstruction, just like walls around. Understand me? Yes, Master. Okay, so the wall that, that separate the blessing from the awareness of it. You see what I mean? Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Uh, Master, with more and more new SBLs and existing ones getting longer and stronger, do they act to raise the human consciousness to a level where all humans will naturally choose the vegan lifestyle in order for the planet to be saved? Or can they only stabilize the planet against the negativity giving humanity more time to decide to be vegan. With more SBLs, can the countdown day be extended? Yes, you ask too much. <laughs> yes, what I mean is we ask too much from heaven and we're not doing much, you know? Just like wanting to get money without working. Right. <laughs> Human has to work to earn more SBLs. He has to earn more merit. Then the SBL will strengthen and or reappear again, or in more in numbers. But not just the numbers of SBL or even other blessing portals or lines, yeah? It's how concentrated they are together in one place also. So, therefore, some areas may have more uh, spiritual blessing line, but scattered, yes? So if you meditate there, you don't have as much spiritual blessing power as in another place where all lines crossed, some line crossed, and other portals congregate, you know, or almost overlapping or next to each other. In a way, they do help elevate human consciousness as well as stabilize the earth to buy time, of course. And mainly, they help worthy meditators to gain more points, to go higher and faster, thus affect also the whole planet in some ways. Um, we have extended the countdown two years from now. Wow! Yeah, congratulations.
Thank you, Master. Welcome. Thank you, Master. Thank You're you welcome, so Master. much. Any more questions, guys? Hi, Master. <laughs> yeah, hello. Besides the SPLs, the sun, and other blessing sources you've told us about, such as the ocean, wind, animals, etc., are there any other blessing sources we may not know about? Mm, yes, yes. Uh, yes, there are. There are some uh, uh, spiritual blessing portals, you know, which are direct blessing from heaven. Okay? Wow. Yes. We call it spiritual blessing portals, uh, wow. SBP. Oh, wow. <laughs> SBP. SBLs, now we have SBP. Okay? Wow. Yes. Could you please tell us how many and where? How many and where? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will check. Yeah. <laughs> I have a note for you. Can you read it so wow. I don't have to read? <laughs> Can you read my scrabbling? <laughs> we'll try. Can you? <laughs> then I don't have to read it. I have to write it for you, meditate and check for you. Now I have to read it also because you can't read my writing. Wow. It's worse than doctor prescription. Okay, I'll be patient, read for you. Okay, now, uh, the spiritual blessing portals, they... They're scattered all over the world, eh? of course, eh? and some near SBLs even, wow. and some some above SBL or under SBL, or intertwined with SBL. Some are independent. Sometimes they're together as a group, then it's very strong. A minimum of them is together two. It's not just one spiritual blessing portal, but two, and maximum are five together. Wow. Uh, no more before, no less now, because these are fixed from heaven to bless the world. It's different from the spiritual blessing line. Yes, Master. The spiritual yes, blessing master. line is to hold the world together in shape. Yes, Master. And if the human are not virtuous enough to inherit the world, then of course the holding lines will disappear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, Master. So that maybe the planet will be in chaos, yeah, chaos, and suffer or even disappear or disintegrate. But the spiritual blessing from heaven never changed, never degrade or never lessen or increase, yes? Yes, Master. It's always there. And if the planet's not there anymore, then the blessing is not necessary anymore. That's all, okay? Yes, Master. Otherwise, as long as the planet is here, the world is still here, the blessing is always there. But whether or not we can perceive it or avail ourselves to it, it's a different thing. It's just like, like the rain. It rains on all and sundry, but you have to go out to get wet, to feel the coolness of the rain, Yeah. It's just like the sun is shy on all, but you have to be out there to enjoy, okay, and to see the sun. All right. The sun doesn't discriminate. Right. The blessing of heaven doesn't discriminate. So it's always there for us. It's just that not all of us receive it, and not all of us can assimilate it. Just like a sick person cannot even enjoy the best nutritious food that prepare for them. Yeah, the best nutritious food prepare for a sick person. Even they cannot digest, or they cannot even swallow, or they will vomit out. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You know, like you're too sick. Yeah, you you even or operate or something, or have stomach problem. You can't even eat. Yeah, you're not allowed to eat, or you can't even eat, or even you eat, you don't digest. The SBL is uh, like a minimum one. Yeah, maximum are six together, oh. and the. Uh, the SBP, uh, minimum two, uh, maximum five together. Okay? Okay. All right. We have about 1,570-something. Wow. You can, yes. Yes. Wow. In the whole world, yes. Wow. <laughs> Even then, we cannot counter the negative power. The negative power is less than the blessing. But the human race are so deep in slumber that they don't even receive much of the blessing and let the negative power overwhelm them 
by temptation and all kind of traps and tricks. Yes, Master. Yeah, that's why spiritual master has to be there. I keep telling them, but not everyone listens. Yes, okay, now, do you want to know where they are? Oh, yes, please. Yes, yes Master. Yes. <laughs> please, Master. <laughs> These are not cheap stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I'm just joking. I give you all for free anyway. Oh, thank you, yes. Master. I even have to pay to give you all this and the world. <laughs> okay, so, here, serious. In the United Kingdom, we have 12 spiritual blessing portal, wow. or SBP. Wow. Chile, 20. Taiwan, 13. Wow. Sweden, 20. Switzerland, 20. Macedonia, 20. Tajikistan, I could not even pronounce some of the places. <laughs> I don't even know they exist until now. <laughs> okay? I mean, unless I look in the map, of course, Tajikistan, which we never heard of yet. Me, I haven't. I mean, I probably knew it somewhere, but not so obviously. Has 20. Wow. The place we didn't even know where it is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it before, yeah? Tajikistan. T-A-J-I-K-I-S-T-A-N. Huh? Have 20. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Poland, 12. So it's not like... The famous country will have more spiritual blessing power. No. Mm. So, Costa Rica have 20. Wow. Well, at least they have these, huh? Even the spiritual blessing line declined. They have plenty of these. Otherwise, I think our world would have disappeared long ago. Today, I watched a film called Doom Day or something. Oh, it's scary. Yeah. It's all dark and hopeless. Yeah. Timor Leste have twelve. Wow. Such a small place. <laughs> India forty. Wow. wow. Trinidad and Tobago twelve. Wow. Denmark twenty. Mexico thirteen. Belgium twelve. Italy sixteen. USA thirteen. Mozambique twenty. Wow. Uzbekistan again. <laughs> This is spelled U-Z-B-E-K-I-S-T-A-N. Twelve, yes. Brazil, twelve. Wow, this is a small country and big country have equal. Yeah. Mm. South Korea, thirteen. Finland, twenty. Holland, twelve. France, twelve. Zambia, twelve. It flashed by so quick, I wonder if I spell correctly. Yes, Zambia, Z A M B I. A, yeah. Germany, 12. Norway, 13. Spain, 14. Sri Lanka, 12. Atlantic Ocean, 100. Wow. Pacific Ocean, 100. Wow. Mediterranean Sea, 200. Wow. South Pole, you know, Antarctica, 100. Wow. North Pole, the Arctic, yes. 150. Wow. Himalaya, 12. Wow. Indian Ocean, 200. North Sea, 120. You know where North Sea is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In Europe, huh? Mm. Yes, yes. Black Sea, 20. You know where it is? No. No, Master. I look in the map. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the earth, we have 110. Wow. In the hollow of the earth, we have 110. Wow. Okay? Happy? Wow. Yes, thank you so much, Master. <laughs> that is the spiritual blessing portals. Wow. Yes, okay? Thank right. you so much, Master. They are more powerful than SBL. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, but I can't tell you everything in one day. First, you learn, you know, yes, <laughs> go yes, from yes. hell <laughs> to heaven. <laughs> SBL, now SBP. Okay, what do you want to know now? What does it feel like at these places? Do we feel any differences? Mm -mm. Not unless you are spiritually super, super sensitive. Mm. You feel something more peaceful easier to meditate, mm. happy, yes, yes. 
But if you have other people around who vex you, then you also will feel nothing. Oh. Just the same, yes. Yeah. Mm, how can we search for the master? <laughs> Sorry. Cannot. <laughs> no can do. <laughs> no can do. Hmm. Uh, oh. Master, yes. why do they exist and how can they be maintained? To bless you. Hmm? What else? Thank you, Master. <laughs> to bless this world and all beings on it. They are maintained only by heaven grace. Unlike SBL, they're not dependent on humans' merits or virtues. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, Master. You're welcome. A lot today, huh? Hope you can remember them all and digest well. <laughs> yes, Master. Master, if all humankind changes to a compassionate way of living and adopts a vegan lifestyle, Master, would there still be hell portals on Earth? No. <laughs> They're only there because of karmic uh, retribution, yes? If all humans become virtuous and good, they will be protected. They will never fall into hell or lower areas, yes? So this area will just automatically disappear uh, or shut off or moved elsewhere, yes? Just disintegrate. But for a perfect, harmonious world, we need good SBL number and SBP, as well as for hell and low-level gates to be shut off or those lowly areas to disappear. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. I have a question about um, group meditation, world group meditation. Um, yeah. In our last conference, you called on everyone to meditate at certain times of the day to help protect our planet. Um, mm -hmm. Master, are we seeing constructive results? from more people meditating now. What do you think? Do you see any sign of betterment, any improvement in our world? You don't see anything? Any of you? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Any positive signs? Better? Yes, Master. We see more and more uh, doctors in the medical field. They really speak out now about vegetarianism. And mm. uh, we see also, for example, in France now, we have a vegetarian travel agency that they can organize mm. travel for you, yeah. Oh, believe it. Yeah, even they organize for going to Olak, Thailand, India. I mean, huh? we have more vegetarian restaurants everywhere. Yes. I think it's, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And besides, peace is more, you know, like reachable? Yeah. Mm. Yes, Master, we can see. Yeah. You said before that the people were ready for the leap into the golden era. We can see that. Many of them don't want war, and they say yes. it to, their, to the politicians. Yes, yes, they yeah. say it now, all right. Yeah. And freedom is more available, yes, in different countries. Where are less before? Yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. There are more freedom now in many different countries. Yes. More vegans in the world and more vegetarians also, right? Yes, Master. I think we have two billion and a half Vegetarians and vegans combine, you know, including breatharian, fruitarian, liquidarian. Wow. And what not, yes, I think, you know. Oh. Well, thank More you, Master. Yeah. But not enough. <laughs> yes. One day there will be no more yes. meat eaters. Yes. Maybe in a few years. <laughs> Okay, any more questions? That, that's all, Master, for me. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, Master. You're welcome, both of you. Uh, Master, in the book, The Convoluted Universe, written by Dolores Cannon, a hypnotherapist who specializes in past life regression therapy, it is said that the Earth will split into two separate Earths, a so-called old Earth and a new Earth, each of which has different dimensional frequencies. And it's believed that some people will be left behind with the old earth because they can't change their frequency and vibration and quick enough to move into the new earth. And the new earth is going to be beautiful and perfect. Uh, is this true, Master? And if so, what factors will decide if a person will be ascending into the new earth? 
Mm. Thank you, Master. I think you know, yes. Uh, it is like metaphor, you know, it's like uh, spiritually speaking, eh? yes. yes new Master. earth, or physically speaking even, the new earth would be like heaven, yes, that worthy beings will be led into and live there, where they live in happiness and blissful contentment, where there will be no war, no hunger, no hatred among all creations, just love, harmony and peace and happiness either here, after screening out, or in another dimension for all the worthy people. Old Earth is almost like what we see now, here or in another corner of the universe, where the humans or beings do not want to change or elevate their way into a more noble lifestyle to blend in, blend in or to tune in with heavens, yes? Either if we can keep this world, then only virtuous people will stay, and then the world will become paradise. Or if we can keep this earth, then there will be more intensive screening out. You see what I mean? Yes, yes, yes Master. The categorize to more or less two different groups, yeah? Virtuous and less virtuous. Yes, yes Master. Yes, so yes. the less virtuous people may be, be sent to live elsewhere in another planet, another kind of existence which is more or less like what we have here, yeah? And the people who are left behind <laughs> or maybe elevated to a different planet, that is better for them, okay? Yes. Thank you, Master. So this is uh, called two earths, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like the earth split into two earths. Wow, that would be <laughs> difficult. <laughs> What about the people who live in between the split? Where they go? <laughs> Falling down somewhere? <laughs> huh? uh, flying in the space forever? <laughs> like a satellite? <laughs> okay, baby, what next? My next question, Master. In noteworthy news lately, we have been airing scrolls about the cost of war and other information about why war is never the answer to conflict. Master, is our planet currently in critical danger of a major global war occurring soon, should not enough people adopt the vegan diet? Yes, I was also worried about that. That's why I uh, requested you guys to air all the news scrolls, yes? To remind people how much it costs financially, physically, emotionally, psychologically to the planet and to the people, you know, real people, real suffering, so that maybe people rethink of launching any war anywhere, okay? So that our planets may regain peace again. Hmm? Well, let's pray that there will be vegan war soon, maybe within a few years, within the, the extended period. Yes, yes, Master. <laughs> so that we will have a peaceful and happy world. People can just wake up overnight, you know, who knows? But I'm warning you guys that even if we extend two years because of the newly gained virtues, but if humanity as a whole do not wake up, you know, I'm not sure if the extended period will bring a lot or just the same stuff, you know, the same old suffering or it might not even bring any benefit or not enough benefit, okay? understand, Master. Just extend it for now, yeah, only. But it could even be shortened, yeah, or dismissed. If there are too much conflicts and suffering caused by war or injustice in the world, then heaven can also rescan it, yeah? I uh, understand, Master, understand. understand. Okay. Uh, thank you, Master. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Again, you see, it depends on the world population, what they choose to do, whether they really want to keep this planet or risk the cost of losing it with a piece of meat that they hang on every day in their mouth. Understand me? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Any more questions? Yeah. Hi, Master. Hi, Arabian yeah. princess. 
You look younger now. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Maybe meditation? Meditation, yeah? Okay. Uh, Master, there is a Palestinian association of vegan vegetable farmers that was inspired by you. They wow. saw you on Supreme Master Television. They said that they saw Master's transcendental body appearing everywhere in their fields. They said that they know Master from before. Mm -hmm. Master's transcendental body appears to them and talks to them in Arabic and Hebrew. Phew. Don't ask me now, huh? Because I don't speak any physically. I have never been in Palestine. <laughs> they also saw bright light in their home. Yes. They were touched and inspired and went to watch Master's lecture on DVD in our initiated brother's home. Uh -huh. They agree with your t teaching wholeheartedly and yes. actually have learned to meditate with you in the Kuan Yin method. Master, is this a special affinity with these Palestinian farmers? Yes, yes, of course, no? and they are on a high level of consciousness. Oh. That's why they can see these visions of transcendental yeah. master bodies, yes? Also, they can perceive easily what is right, what's wrong, once being reminded immediately, yeah? Yes. Good for Palestine. Yes, yes Master. Pray that there will be more. They have many, Master, many experiences, but, but I ask them not to tell me because it's too yeah. much. Yeah, too many experiences, okay. We pray that there will be more like this on this land. Then they will have more lasting peace for their people, <laughs> for the Palestine people. Thank they you, Master. They suffer enough. They suffer too much already. Yes, yes, Master. <sighs> yeah, okay. What next? Thank you, Master. You're welcome, love. Hi, Master. You have been uh, losing weight or something? Yeah, a little. <laughs> what happened? You go on some diet? Fruitarian, liquidarian, no, breatharian? No, I'm not strong enough for that. <laughs> Just eating less uh, bread and sugar. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm also very grateful that I'm still alive and still can work. We are too, Master. We're so grateful to have you here. Yes, but wherever I go, of course, the first thing I think about is how to reorganize again, scrapping things together so that we can start working again, you know, continue working in whichever way I can. Well, I'm happy, you know, I'm very grateful that I still have a place, and however small, and can work. Yeah, okay. With a lot of equipment and two big guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a miracle, but I have to thank them also. They're good, they're good. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate their sacrifice yeah, and their efficiency. The more I meditate, the higher I go, the more sensitive. I'm super sensitive right now. I can smell people from 100 miles away and feel things from the other end of the world. Wow. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. That's how we can see SBL, SBB, and portals and all stuff, you know? But of course, I can't just zoom in, you know, because the world is small, but not that small, is it? You know what I mean? When I say Mexico, <laughs> how many <laughs> hundred thousand square meters is that in there? See what I mean? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes. Okay. Right. You want to say something more? Oh, that was the last uh, question we had. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> so, what is it that we can do? What can I do for you now? Mm -hmm. So, we call it a day, huh? Yes, Master, we're so grateful for all the time you spent with us today. <laughs> yeah, not just today, yeah? the preparation and everything is. And work under pressure, eh? Mm. Yes. You have to appreciate what I give you, okay? Truly. I don't mean to, to fish more gratefulness from you, it's not that, but you have to appreciate that these are really precious information. Probably you haven't heard that before anywhere else or in other lifetimes or any other planet. It's only due to the grace of many deities, many divinities, many gods and goddesses, angels and heavens, and divine blessing that we'll be able to get all these informations, yes? 
even if I have to work under more pressure, more suffering, I'd be willing to in exchange for all this so that I can uh, share it with you to awaken you more and make you more um, enthusiastic, more inspired, more determined in spiritual practice, uh, as well as other brothers and sisters, yours around the world, and maybe other groups as well, or maybe the world people at large. It's uh, precious information. It's not like you can get it cheap. It's not like you can get it elsewhere or anytime, anyway. Okay? Yes. Yes. Don't thank me. Thanks heaven. Thanks all the divinity. Whoever involved in helping uh, in all this project. Okay? Help protecting me and let me in some secret door, secret information, secret office secret tunnels, etc., etc., secret uh, data. Okay? Yes. I am also very grateful, very deeply grateful. I thank them every day, all the time, all the time. I'm always in tune with them and thanking them all the time. Sometimes I shed tears because of the gratefulness that I'm so blessed in this physical incarnation, even be able to access this heavenly, precious, uh, unprecedented information. Do you understand? I'm really grateful, humbly grateful. Okay? Not just you. So I hope you're also grateful. Eh? Yes. Thank you. We are very lucky people, no matter what. Very lucky. Yes? Yes, Master. Yes. Also physically, we are well. Yes, we have a roof of our head. We have comfortable place, or not comfortable place, <laughs> but we have a chance to continue our noble work to help others who are less fortunate than we. Yes? Mm. So we are very lucky, lucky, and we are grateful all the time. Of course, I'm grateful to you, huh? Also, eh? Physically, that you're working hard, you sacrifice, and to all the your brothers and sisters around the world who are working in different timing, you know, forsaking meals time and eating simple just so that we have more time to work. We do the same here. I do the same here. And I'm grateful to the staff nearby me who also live in a very simple life, very ascetic life, so that we can have more time for more important work. I'm grateful to all of you and to, to them as well. I do the same. Huh? I don't demand more from you than what I demand from myself. We are truly lucky. It's miraculous already. In such a turbulent world, we still can sit and talk to each other peacefully. Yes, yes. Master. As long as we can. <laughs> okay, maybe next time we have more lines or more portals and whatever, okay? Yeah. Thank you, Master. Or not. <laughs> not promising anything, okay? All right. See you. Magnificent, Master. We're so grateful again for all the time you've spent with us today answering our many questions. What amazing things we've learned. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and knowledge about our wondrous universe. Our hearts are reluctant. Now I'm crying. <laughs> our hearts yeah. are reluctant to say goodbye, mm. but our souls know that you are always with us. Yes, of course. We are always together. Yeah, at least we are looking in the same direction. Yes, we are working for a noble yes. cause. Yes. And you lovingly show us the most compassionate and enlightened way to live. Yeah, it's good for you. Hmm? <laughs> you know it all in your heart, in your soul. I'm just reminding you not to be overwhelmed by all the disturbance, and traps and illusion around you to remember what you are and what you should do. I just remind you. And luckily you listen. Yes. It's very lucky for me to have you, that you listen. Yes. Because no matter what I say, if you don't listen, you don't want to remember your divinity, then it's not much I can do either, hey? Mm. Yes, Master. Okay. I'm also grateful. I'm lucky to have you guys. <laughs> we see each other again, okay? Thank you, Master.
Peace, love, and blessing. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. And God loves you. <laughs>